Do-ba-do-do-do-do Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Hello there, and welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Um, we're at a very, very cold stable, which has its own... Poor beetle. <laughs> poor dude doesn't actually have another outfit, it seems, and he seems to be suffering the consequences. But regardless, let's check out what this stable has to offer, shall we? Hey, old man. You? Moncton. A traveler, eh? Can you spare a minute to listen to a bored old retiree tell a story? Yeah, sure, what you got? Uh. When you get to be my age, you start reminiscing about all the memories from your childhood. <laughs> to be honest, growing up in the middle of nowhere, well, there weren't really other kids around. My only friends were Harry and Mary. I remember playing with Harry out in the maze and Mary out by the ruins. Okay, what's this about Harry? There's an enormous maze beyond the Tabantha Tundra just north of here. I don't know who built it or when. The adults always said not to go near it. They said it was too dangerous there. One day, I urged Harry to go into the maze as a test of courage. I... I never saw him again. I learned the hard way that it really is dangerous there. Children have no real sense of danger, I suppose. <laughs> to this day, the mere memory breaks my heart. Sorry, dude. Tell me about uh, Mary. Tell me about Mary. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Tell me about Mary. Uh, Maybe you've seen the big canyon to the southeast. There are some secret ruins down at the base of that valley. I don't know who built them or when. The adults always said not to go near. They said it was too dangerous there. I think I know where the story's going. One day, Mary and I went out there to explore and search for the ruins. In the blink of an eye, Mary lost her footing. She slipped and tumbled down the cliff. I... I never saw her again. Sometimes a child's innocent curiosity can cause tragedies that can never be taken back. That memory will haunt me until my dying day. As I grew older, I learned to overcome my grief over losing them. You can't change the past, only the future. <laughs> Harry and Mary never made it back, but two of their descendants are in that stall over there. My only friends out in these parts were horses, you see. I suppose that's still true to this day. Oh. They're horses? <laughs> you sent your horse into a labyrinth by himself and then he never saw him again. Well, of course. What the heck is wrong with you, old man? Okay. Hey, isn't it Tracy? Hey, Tracy! Hi. No, it's not Tracy. It's just somebody else who writes. <laughs> Excuse me. Juan L. I've traveled to the east and the west in my great hunt for information, and now I find myself here in the freezing north. I heard there was a stall horse in this area, but I can't take it any longer. It's too cold to look anymore. A stall horse? You like the bony ones from overnight? <gasps> beep, beep! You just set off 1L's intuition centers. You're inter interested in the stall horse too, huh? I just wanted to see this creepy stall horse monster once with my own eyes. If it really does exist, it'd be such a big scoop. <gasps> but, well, I can handle all kinds of dangers and hazards, but this cold, uh, I can't stand it. Can you handle this task for me? I'll even reward you. All I need is a picture or some notes. I can do it, yeah. I've done it before. <gasps> Good answer. There's a rumor that it can be found with stall goblins in the North Tabantha snowfield. Some have reported it all the way on the other side of the snowfield to the east, right in front of these bizarre ruins. <laughs> Good luck. I'm really counting on you. Okay. I wonder if she'd consider it proof if I just brought him by the stable sometime. But, you know, probably easier to take a photo, I guess. <laughs> Poor beetle. <laughs> Oh, hey guys, what's up? Oh. Denton, it must be so great. You do know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, sure, yeah. Oh. I knew you would. It's every dreamer's dearest dream, isn't it? Having a sword that shoots light all like wham and mows down all kinds of monsters like kapow would be amazing. I mean, even the name, the sword that seals the darkness, is just the coolest thing ever. I, I have that. It doesn't shoot light. What are you talking about? How do I make it shoot light? Hey! Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this sword here? This one? This is the sword that seals the darkness. I mean, like, th this is it. Huh? That's the sword that seals the darkness? I can't believe it! 
Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay, I see. I see. Hmm. Honestly, it's a tad slimmer than I imagined. Since it's a legendary sword, I thought it would be as big as me with, like, jewels everywhere. Wow, it's still amazing, though. I can feel the power. Hey, thanks for showing that to me. I'll never forget this day. Cool. I... Get, no problem, I guess. Hey, what's your deal? Hi. I overheard what you and Danton were talking about. I can't do much to help, but I'll keep this stable clean and tidy, so please come rest here when you need to. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Was there anything else going on around here? Maybe I shouldn't just take their stuff. I already cleaned out their, uh... Log pile, which again probably shouldn't do that either, but I did. Oh well, there's nobody else here, but I guess I that's not too surprising given that it is super cold here and nobody wants to stay here. And who can blame them? Who can blame them? Well, let's go take this, take care of this shrine, shall we? As long as we're here, Rhinocerai. Okay, Rinoya Shrine. Look at the rhinoceros! Great horned rhinoceros. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Check it out! Hey man, how you doing? He's gonna charge me, isn't he? No? Yes? No. Probably should have. Oops. Oh, now he's mad. Now he's mad. <laughs> Not mad enough, though. Wow, drops a lot of meat. Okay, let's get in here. Rinoya or whatever it was. Yeah, let's get in there. It's gotta be warmer than out here. Yeah, you say that, but it doesn't always work, does it? Cause sometimes they're being superstitious at you and won't let you put a legendary spirit in their stable for some reason. Directing the wind. Okay. Sure. Well, I have a ball here. And I see that there's a wind stream there, so let's just toss it into the wind stream. Or miss entirely. That's an option, too. Sure. Well, let's grab it. Try again. Okay, so we got several fans. And the fans are strong enough to take care of the ball, but I'm able to walk along just fine normally. Okay. Weird, but I'm okay with it. Hmm. So I need to have that happen while I'm waiting up there. Well, that's a pretty easy solution, actually, isn't it? Whoops, wrong button. No, wrong button. This thing. Okay. What can I do with this? Can I... I can shut off a fan. Okay. Why would I want to do that? Hmm. Come to think on it, I don't see the uh, secret chest for this particular mission. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Here's, shut that off. I don't know why. But why not? Why not, indeed? Okay. So clearly, I can't get up there. Well, let's just try the obvious solution and see if it is, in fact, a solution. We'll grab that here. Toss it in there. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it in time. Whoop, 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 whoop. Just barely. There. I did it. <laughs> but the box is over there. Hmm. Okay. Do I need to get the box? I know. Oh, I need to get the metal boxes up here with me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get it. No biggie. I got this. I don't understand why there's this whole thing with shutting off wind, though, because that doesn't seem to even come up. Maybe it's for usage in a different... shrine? Maybe. 
I'm not sure I understand otherwise. Okay. Well, let's just slide these up here. I don't know if I'm going to need both of them, but... May as well bring them with, whilst I'm at it. Okay. Back up there. And grab the ball. And take the ball. And put it here. No. No. We put it here. There you go. Give me a little bit longer to run up there. It should do it, right? Oh, it didn't do it. It didn't do it. Okay. All right. All right. That's fine. Grab it. And put it here. There you go. There you go. Now we run. Now we run. We run, we run, we run. And hopefully... Come on, guys. <laughs> fine. Fine. You know what? How about if I put it here? How's that suit you? Pretty well, I should hope. Okay. Get up there. Get up there. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Now I have these big blocks. So I should just be able to make myself a bridge. Right over there. Slide it a little bit. A little bit like that. Actually, why why take any chances? I brought them both over. Let's just use both of them. I don't have any idea why they bothered giving me two of them. Maybe the whole wind control thing is a red herring. Maybe I did it wrong. I don't know. It seems to have worked, though, so that's fine. I don't mind solving problems in a wrong way as long as I solve them. Okay. Let's get out of here. No, don't fall off. Thank you. <laughs> Total slop that would have been, too, so... Glad it didn't happen. Open up. Give me an orb. Yeah. Yeah, I did it. I got the orb, too. And I'm at six. Okay. And all there is left for me to do at Hylia Statues is get heart containers, so... That's gonna be the main course these days. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned, but last time I upgraded my stamina thing, I got it to the full three circles, and Hylia was like, yeah, there's no need to upgrade that anymore. You can just leave that alone. So I guess there's a hard limit on stamina. It makes sense. It makes sense. Kinda. Okay. Well, let's get a move on, shall we? It's not nighttime, so... Oh, hey. This is snow. I can wear my snow boots. Um, it's not nighttime, so getting, working on the stall horse is not productive right now. So let's just keep moving, shall we? Terrifying moose. If you don't think moose are terrifying, you probably haven't dealt with one. But then, I haven't dealt with one, and I think they're terrifying anyway. Because I hear that they're terrifying. Let's shoot this one in the face. Great. <laughs> Great. I wonder if I can ride one. Whoa, what? Giga! Do you gotta, though? Do you gotta? Oh, I didn't actually use his weapon that he, the last one dropped, did I? Eh, no, I didn't. That's fine. What happened to the moose? There he is. I was hoping he wasn't scared off by the Yiga. Okay. I can't put on my stealth gear. Because I will freeze to death if I do. Okay, well, let's not worry about it. I don't think they will probably will let me mount them anyway. Probably. Oh, jeez, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. There, eat fire. Eat a fire and be dead. Oh, no, 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 don't break me. Oh, no, that really hurt. That really, really hurt. And I do not have Mifa. Okay. Okay. Whew. Whew, boy. Okay. 
Why don't I just eat some cold reduction food? Yeah. Um, do I have anything that's more useful? Okay, not really. So let's just eat that. And then eat some of those. There you go. Okay. And now let's put on some actual armor. Great. And we're still okay. I'm just gonna try and get on that moose. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, that didn't work out. <laughs> that didn't work out. Is that guy just looking at me? You know he is. He's like, don't you try it. Don't you try and get on me, dude. I'm, I'm watching you. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm just going over here. Oh, <laughs> he's just turning to watch. <laughs> Got my eye on you. No free rides for Hylians. Okay. Well, let's let's burn these leaves, shall we? It's probably a probably a Korok. Yep. Great. Hi. Nice uh, holly you have there, or whatever it is. Mistletoe? No. That's white. Oh, come on. I hate Octoroks. They're such a waste of time. <sighs> Even though they give me inflated balloons that I can use for neat things. They're still just a waste of time. Anyway, I have failed to get on the moose. I give up for right now. Next time I see a moose, maybe I'll try again. Yeah, okay. Hi, wolf. Hi, wolf. Here, catch the bomb, wolf. Great. <laughs> I'm glad wolves are at least easy to dispatch. Relatively. Let's get, let's get up to that map tower. I feel like that's important. I'm definitely feeling the slower speed from having dropped off my horse, but I also feel like that's a... Oh, did you see that arctic fox? That's pretty cool. Hey, dude! Yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot ya. I don't know why, I shoot everybody else, but I'm not gonna shoot ya. Can I ride rhinoceri? Can I ride rhinoceri? Science. I need to do a science to it. Uh, he definitely detected me, he's just running off. Okay, that's fine. Anything under the rock? Nope. Let's keep moving. Am I any faster on the path? I seem to be a little faster on the path. Good. And this cold resistance should last me a good long time. I mean, there's a timer on the screen. I don't know why I bothered saying that. But 15 minutes is pretty good, I would say. That moose is facing me. That moose is facing me. Hi. Hi. Don't mind me. Ow. And then he's just going to keep moving, right? Yep. Not sneaky enough. Maybe if I parasail down onto the back of one of them, I'd be able to ride it. Mifa's grace is ready. Hey, Mifa. Not a moment too soon. I keep risking my life out here for no good reasons. <laughs> Charging at things that will kill me easily. It's my favorite thing to do. Okay, well, there seem to be some ice things at the base of that tower. I hope that's not going to be an issue when I try to climb it. We'll find out. We'll find out. That's some cool Saflina. Oh yeah, so rad. Hebra Tower. Music's weird here. Hmm. Okay, these ice things are completely surrounding it. And they're melting in the pres presence of a fire weapon, but not really enough. Can I climb over them? I can't. Okay. Oh, this is just the standard mystical stuff music. That's fine. There. See how that suits you. Uh, reduce it somewhat. Not enough. Yeah, let's see. There. Oh, I missed. Shoot at that one. Okay. And now it's tiny. But not gone. 
I don't know if it's important that I make them gone. Probably not. Let me get my climbing gear on. Seeing as I still have the uh, cold resistance going. <laughs> oh man. Good thing. Good thing. It looks like I should be freezing. <laughs> I wonder if keeping a fire weapon out increases your body temperature at all. I don't think it does. I feel like it kind of should. But then if it did, it would be dangerous to have these things on you, so never mind that. Bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, excuse me. All right. Let's get on up this tower. Get on up this tower. Why bother waiting? I got so much stamina. There we go. Recover it. And up we go. Up we go. All right. Made it. Activate. Second to last tower in the game. Yay! I'm a tower! Still think they look like little arms at the top, kind of, as they're going up. Not so much once they're up, though. All right. Teleport place. And give me that map. Give me that map. Put it in my box. I mean... My... Slate, I guess. Put it in the slate. Yes. That thing. Not the other thing I said. Okay. Well, there's some kind of a labyrinth there. That's the one the old man was talking about, isn't it? And that'll probably be where the last piece of Berserker armor is, because labyrinths seem to be the place where you get, uh, Berserker armor, or Barbarian armor, or whatever it is. The stuff that increases your attack damage. Let me see. Seren Stable. I was just over there, in fact. Forgotten Temple. I was looking down in there, and that's the other thing the old man was talking about, was the Forgotten Temple down below. And the Hebra Mountains. Okay. Sure would be a good time to have some frost resist armor. Maybe I really should go talk to the Vrito, because I assume they've got them. I've, didn't, I've talked to everybody else now, and nobody's had them. Nobody's had them. Is that the place that I... Yeah. That's the ruins I checked out before I went to the stable, and there was nothing there. Okay. Well, let's see here. Anything I can drift to conveniently? Kopecky Drifts, Tanagar Canyon, Tama Pond. Well, let's head roughly northwest and see what, see what comes of that. Over towards those bodies of water. Not that I think those will be particularly safe to dip into, but, you know, gives me a place to start. Isn't there supposed to be a spring around here somewhere? Dinral's spring? Come to think on it, I wonder if I can see that. It doesn't really look like it, does it? Hmm. Stone Grove. That's a big old snowfield. That's where those uh, stall horses are, huh? Okay. Well, let's investigate over here real quick. Hmm. Well, uh, nothing from what I'm seeing right here, but I, I, I guess that's kind of what you can expect in the Arctic Mountains. <coughs> Whoop. Excuse me. Nearly killed myself by coughing. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, well, let's put on something that gives me some armor and my snow boots. At least until this cold resistance potion, not potion, food wears off. This should take care of me for now. Yep, yeah, mostly just 
local wildlife, it seems. And I'm just right in the middle of the Kopiki Drifts. What's that? Ah, oh, it's just another. Huh, Hebra Falls. You don't suppose that's where the Dragon Spring is, do you? Hmm. Perhaps it's something worth checking out. Right now I'm kind of heading towards that stone grove. I don't know if it's really worth my time, but that seems to be where I'm heading. It's less cold here. That's kind of weird. Why was it so cold up by the stable and less cold here? Oh, hey, okay. Throwing rocks, hey, I get you. That's civilized. Who's up there anyway? Why are you throwing rocks? What did I ever do to you? I'm just checking out the area, man. Are those all the Zolfos? They absolutely are. Wow, that's a lot of them. <laughs> Wish I hadn't better or more fire weapons. Don't charge me! Can I get on you? No, I can't. Well, let's get, get up top of this mountain then. Get into the stone grove. Oh, hey. Speaking of Dinral, there he is. Hmm. I guess I've been to the Spring of Power, haven't I? It was in Akala. I just need a scale from that guy to drop in it. <laughs> Screw it! I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do that! I don't know why I was going to the Stone Grove anyway. I'm just gonna float over all these lizards and I'm gonna get myself a scale off that dragon. Maybe. I'm probably not gonna be able to catch him. Oh boy, and there's a big stone wall in the way. Great. Super great, super great. Alright. Climbing gear. Climbing gear, go. Okay, okay. Up we go. Climb, Link, climb! You gotta get to that dragon! You gotta get to that dragon! You gotta do something about this dragon situation. There he is, there he is. Oh, he's not heading my direction. He's heading over towards, I don't know what. But it's not helping me out. Whatever it is he's heading towards. Just gotta, oh, he's he's diving into something. But it's still 1.30 in the morning, so he should come back out, I think. If I can get over there, it'll be a start. Snow boots. I'm gonna have to run. Looks like I'm gonna have to run. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just gotta make it over that ridge before he gets to someplace else. But he flies so much faster than I run. <laughs> I actually kind of hope he's diving into something so that it takes him a minute to come back out again. It's my only hope, really. I don't even see him. <laughs> I don't even see him anymore. Where did he go? Dinral, why you gotta make this so difficult? Okay, yeah, more moblins. That's fine. That's fine. There he is. There he is. Okay. I don't think I can catch him at this rate. But I'm gonna try. What is this place? Where am I? Oh, this is the Forgotten Temple. I feel like this isn't the best way to make my entrance to the Forgotten Temple. Well, my stamina is about to run out, so an entrance I might be making. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Get up top. Get some stamina back. And run. Well, there's a thing here. Sure, blow up the thing. What do we got? Korok? Of course. <laughs> Korok, you just made me miss out on that dragon over there. I mean, I wasn't going to catch him anyway, but... I'm going to tell myself that to make myself feel better. Why is it so hot here? What the heck is up with the climate here? He's gone. <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, that's a heck of a thing. It actually does increase the temperature in the area to carry a flame weapon around. 
it's the equivalent of wearing a piece of cold resistant stuff. Well, that's super cool and good to know. But nevertheless, I am now stranded in the middle of the mountains overlooking the Forgotten Temple. I guess let's enter this canyon? I guess. Sure. Why not? Oh, look, a puzzle. Looks like a pretty easy one. Sure, let's do it. Put that there. Did I win? I won. <laughs> Hooray. I sure did. Okay. Well? Why are there wolves in the canyon? It's not a good place for wolves to live. I think. Huh. Well. I guess this is my life now. I live in a canyon now. Yeah, I know I can teleport. Shush. Oh, get out of here. Eat a rock. Okay, well, I guess next time I'm going to explore this canyon and work my way towards the Forgotten Temple. And hopefully there will be something interesting there. This be my guess anyway. I mean, it's called the Forgotten Temple. I'm sure they put something there, right? Something worthwhile, I'm sure. So, yeah. Sorry I didn't get a whole lot done this episode, but I was mostly doing exploring, you know? There's, I, there's a lot of ground to cover yet. Even though, even though this is the second last area in the game, this is, uh, there's still a lot of ground to cover. Whoops. Let's keep your armor on, Link, Link, thank you. So I guess, yeah, next time we'll be heading this direction and into the Forgotten Temple and, uh, trying to figure out what its deal is and what it, what I can do in there. I'm guessing there'll be a shrine. That's usually how it goes, yeah? <laughs> All right, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.